So AMD released a driver update earlier this week, but that driver was only for Windows. Us Linux users have been using the same AMD GPU Pro driver since late January. Now I know it hasn't even been four months since the last driver update, but the latest AMD GPU Pro drivers are so freaking broken with so many regressions. Now, if you remember the video I did back in early January, I was testing the previous AMD GPU Pro driver. The drivers I was using in that video were the AMD GPU Pro 16.5. Literally two or three weeks after I did that video, AMD released the latest driver, which is currently 16.6. .6. Now, in the previous video, we took a look at Rust, we played a little Skyrim running in Wine, and we even played some Paladins on Windows 10 running inside of VMware. Now this video is going to be mostly the same thing using the latest AMD GPU Pro driver. So with that said, let's go ahead and start with Rust. Now Rust is an early access game and it has some pretty steep system requirements, but I think my RX 460 is in line with those. Now I'm running Rust here at pretty much the lowest graphics settings, and you can see that I'm averaging about 25, 30. So this is around a base that we built on the EGIO Rust server. So let's go to the mining query and see what our frame rate is there. So this is the mining query, or at least I think that's what it is. You see the frame rate is closer to about 20, and now I'm being attacked by the helicopter. So as I'm trying to escape the wrath of the helicopter, you can see that trying to have any sort of firefight or anything with this frame rate is pretty much impossible. And in general, the frame rate varies wildly. Like here, I'm planting C4 all over this base, and I'm getting up to 40 frames a second. And remember when I said I'm playing on the lowest graphics possible? Yeah, I really wasn't kidding. Remember in the previous video we played Paladins in VMware? Let's go ahead and give that a try. Well, that didn't work. So this is a massive regression in the part of the driver because these latest drivers simply don't work with 3D acceleration on VMware. The previous drivers did. But you may be wondering, well maybe it's a problem with Windows 10. Alright, let's give Fedora a try. And nope, Fedora crashes too. But if I disable 3D acceleration, or use an OS that doesn't really have 3D acceleration like Windows ME, it works just fine. So War Thunder is another game that I play somewhat regularly. Now War Thunder on Linux using AMD drivers has always been a little dicey, but this kind of takes it to the next level. So when we're in battle and there's nothing really going on, I'm getting no more than, say, 30 frames a second. But when the action starts happening, eh, you're looking at about 15 frames a second. Have you ever tried playing War Thunder at 15 frames a second? And this is with the graphics settings on low. Not the lowest, but pretty damn low. And then finally, let's take a look at Audio Surf. Everything looks okay, right? But keep your eye on the top right hand corner of the screen. You'll start to see that it's actually glitching really bad. I don't know what the hell happened with the latest Pro Driver, but man, these regressions are bad. I know that the driver was never perfect, and I know the developers are working really hard on it, but I don't know how these regressions slipped through. Like, for example, the VMware one, that one is bad. I really only use VMware here at home for games, but, I mean, there could be companies out there depending on this. So at this point, if you were to ask me which driver you should use, I would strongly recommend the open source Mesa driver. In some cases, the AMD GPU Pro driver may offer you better frame rates in some games, I guess, but in my opinion, it's just not worth the headache of making sure that you have a compatible card and then downloading the binary and installing it and then logging into your favorite game only to find out that there's some sort of bug or glitch and it's all jacked up. Just stick with the open source driver. And besides, the open source driver is just that. It's open source. So that makes it automatically better, right? So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that the AMD drivers eventually get better in the next release and some of these regressions go away. If you did like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you thought in the comments and stuff, and yeah, thanks for watching.